Hey everyone, Thor here. Gonna get into my spoiler-filled review of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, wow, that ending. Uh, I think people will be talking about it for a little while. I know there's gonna be fans out there that are gonna be upset because obviously they went and they're changing the future. So everything that happened in the other game, I mean, some of the events could happen. It could happen in a different order. They might not happen, but uh, yeah, if, you know, if you finish the game, you know that. Uh, they went, they defied fate, they fought the Whispers, and um, things are going to unfold differently. Things already are unfolding differently. Um, I have a lot of uh, opinions about it. Like, I, I hope they touch on things, but uh, this could definitely get messy because, you know, as you can see, Zack is, uh, he's still alive. There's, like, multiple timelines, and maybe Seth Roth can travel between the timelines, and he, him and Aerith seem to know about their fate. And, you know, being able to change that, like, Aerith uh, in the Chapter 14 cutscene, if you get her... I got Tifa, but uh, I saw a YouTube video, and if you get her, she warns Cloud not to fall in love with her, implying she knows what what is going on, and uh, she she's had moments where she is, and that's going to be interesting, because, like, a big part of her character arc is that she's always looming over you, like, she sacrificed herself to save the planet and summon Holy, because she knew that that's what she had to do. And, you know, she helped you up to that point, and she helped you after. She made sure everyone made it alive, and it's hinted that she helped guide, you know, Cloud through the live stream, um, you know, him and Tifa. So that's that's going to change a lot. Like, they might kill another character, or maybe the Whispers actually end up killing Aerith. I don't know how, how they're going to go, but uh, the first game overall is fantastic. It's really good. I like all the expanded stuff. The music was awesome really epic at some battles uh overall like i said i really like it but I, I think this could end up being very very good it could also get very convoluted and messy because kingdom hearts already do and let's let's be honest this source material is pretty convoluted you know there's, there's a lot going on to the story it's hard to uh i had someone ask me the other day like oh what, what's going on what's the story of this game and it's like oh man where, where do you even begin because you don't even get it in the right order and I probably didn't fully grasp it because I played it when I was like six or no, I was probably like eight. Sorry, eight. And I definitely didn't grasp the whole story till a couple of playthroughs. And probably when I was a little bit older to finally get everything that, you know, went down and everything going with, uh, with the game. Uh, so I really like the combat system. Um, it definitely should. I, I think this combat system has been kind of around for a while because if you think about it, Square kind of did this with Parasite Eve like way back. Around the time Final Fantasy VII came out, you know, Parasite Eve, you had an ATB. I mean, it's a lot more simpler than this one, but uh, you had an ATB and you could use your abilities and you could shoot your guns. And then, you know, Final Fantasy XIII and Final Fantasy XV are kind of similar to this battle style, but uh, it, it seems like this new iteration is definitely more modern. I think it got a really, it, it's a lot of fun. Like you definitely, some abilities and some enemies, you kind of, you have to use certain materia or attacks to build up the stagger meter. And it's just kind of figuring out the weakness, but I think it worked pretty well for the most part. And like I said, I had a lot of fun with, uh, with the battles and, I, I th really curious how they continue it over and like is it is a new one going to come out like next year is it going to be on other consoles are they going to carry your decisions over like Mass Effect style or are they going to just you know make a default because I mean there's subtle differences but uh, like I said uh, Chapter 14 is pretty cool because just like the Data Gold Saucer you had a scene with one of your party members depending on how you treated them or choices you made so i hope they kind of keep that going it's uh, mass effects one of my favorite trilogies of all time and that's one of the biggest parts i enjoy about it so it'd be really cool just to see you know everyone having a little bit their own personalized story if you will and uh, i'm seeing all sorts of theories out there you know with the different timelines and things and like clouds appeared in so many games so the alternate timelines can you know He's got, you know, he went to Ivalice and Tactics. Uh, he's in Eargies. He's in Chocobo Racing, like Cla Clouds and Smash Brothers. So, you know, there's possibilities of him being in many different places. So 
I'm curious. I hope they keep it the two because anything that brings in time travel or alternate dimensions or anything can get confusing. So I think a lot of this will they'll probably see what everyone thinks. But uh, I hope they definitely include like a lot of the big scenes because you know Final Fantasy VII had a lot of big moments that I'd love to see redone in HD. And you know I, I don't want those to miss out. You know or, or you know be altered like too much. Like I mean. Maybe give it more of a modern spin. Uh, I feel like they changed some things for the better. But uh, for instance, um, I feel like the Shinra headquarters felt kind of off to me. And the whole part, like running the maze through Hojo's laboratory, I kind of like the idea of... I kind of prefer the way the original did it, where you got locked up and then, you know, the Genova Setheroth uh, brought you, you know, killed the president and brought you... Uh, um, rest, you know, unlock the door and uh, you just follow the blood trail and it just kind of showed how powerful Sethroth was and this one you actually fight Sethroth and it shows that Cloud's like a lot stronger at this point than he was in the original game because he can go toe to toe with Sethroth. I mean, this isn't probably, this isn't the real Sethroth. The real Sethroth's gotta be in the Northern Cape Crater unless this is one that uh, can traverse through different time periods, so so like and Zach being alive is a whole other thing you know for all we know maybe Zach in his timeline went back to Shinra and he's that new soldier that I can't remember the name of uh, I can't wait for the second part and I recommend even if you got it spoiled to play this game for yourself because it is definitely worth the $60 and even if the other parts don't live up at least we have this like great brought to life Midgar section that we can really appreciate and I'm currently going through hard mode and uh, I, I can't wait to platinum this and I, I'm having a lot of fun with it and talking to my friends about the different theories so we'll definitely be talking about that for a little while so like I said go play it for yourself, Thor out.